The regular meeting of Bissauer City Council for January the 16th, 2018 is called to order. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. McKeever. Here. Myers. Here. Wireball. Here. Truka. Here. Sack. Here. Boat. Here. Shot. Here. Before you, you have the minutes from the January 2nd, 2018 sign to die regular meeting. I need a motion to accept these minutes. I'll make a, I'll make a motion. Okay. Motion by Mr. Fote, second by Mr. Truka to accept the January 2nd, 2018 sign to die regular meeting minutes. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say no. Motion passed. This is where we grant permission for visitors to speak. With us this evening, we have Brenda Kreider, who's the director of the Bucyrus Public Library. If you'd like to step to the podium, please. We do need you to state your name and address, if you would. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak this evening. My name's Brenda Kreider Kaler, and I live at 635 and a half Pleasant View Street, Upper Sandusky, Ohio. I'm here tonight representing the Board of Trustees for the Bucyrus Public Library, which is at 200 East Mansfield Street here in town. And um, I have with me this evening to present to the City Council a signed resolution for a half mill levy to be placed on the uh, May 8th ballot for the library. Anything else you need? <laughs> this will be used exclusively for the library? Yeah, exclusively for the library um, uh, to um, improve the library and then uh, provide programming. Um, uh, we're hoping to be able to um, provide things like mobile hotspots for area residents to check out and have at their homes who don't have internet, um, and items like that that we currently can't provide with our budget the way it is, um, and with the governor continuing to cut our budget and not knowing what the future looks like. Um, this will help us uh, bring our budget back. Right now we are currently operating at uh, the same funds that we had in 1998. Um, this will hopefully bring us back up to around what we had in 2000. Okay. So what the funds you're talking about, the local government funds, and back when Governor Kasich took office the first time, uh, he uh, did not uh, deem it necessary to send all of the local government funds back to the local entities, of which the city was one of those. We lost 300 and some thousand dollars, am I correct? Joyce? Um, if we look back, it's closer to about 600000 And then uh, the, uh, the, the park districts lost money, libraries lost money. There were a lot of entities that were involved in that when uh, uh, the governor built, built up his $2 billion rainy day fund that he's sitting on down in Columbus. Yes, I am not that. But uh, you, uh, now what, what is the area, the people that will be voting on this? Uh, not a detailed one, but the right. general area. Um, well, in 2015, the um, State Library expanded our boundaries to our actual service area rather than just the city of Bucyrus. In the past, um, prior to that, we are a municipal library, so we were uh, only held responsible to the city. But our actual service area includes Winford and Colonel Crawford School Districts um, because of the consortium that we have. And um, in 2015, the State Library expanded our boundaries to include all of Winford School District within Crawford County and a partial of Colonel Crawford School District. Um, because of Gagnon and Crestline Public Libraries, we had to honor some of that area for them as well. So all those people that are in our district then will be the ones that will Correct. be voting on it this? Correct. It will not just be the citizens of Bucyrus. It will be the citizens in our service area okay. that will be voting on the issue. Okay. And this is uh, half of 1%, correct? Correct. Okay. And you're expecting it to generate? 166000 um, Just a second. I can give you the exact number here. $166,595. And that has been, uh, that amount was determined by the county auditor, correct? correct. Based correct. upon the valuations of property in your district. In the service area, yes. Okay. Okay. 
Anyone with any questions they'd like to ask this evening? No? Okay, what we will do is uh, uh, this will go into uh, committee and uh, the uh, we act as their agent. They do not have the power, the library does not have the power to put anything on the ballot. And so we are there, there's a word for that. What kind of agent are we? Yeah. Is it taxing authority? You're, you're a taxing tax authority, authority agent? agent? We, we are the taxing authority uh, for the Bussard's Public Library, yes. despite the fact that we are not, it includes citizens that are not part of the city of Bussard. So Correct. It's a weird thing, but it's... Because we're a municipal library, you guys are considered our taxing authority. Right. And so that's why they're coming to us uh, to, to ask about this. And uh, you have in your packets this evening, you have... Uh, our sample legislations that we'll be working from, and you also have uh, the information that their board of trustees has already created. So all this will be up for discussion. Um, we need this uh, then to be referred to the finance committee. I so need moved. a motion for that, please. So moved. Second. Okay, motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Myers, to refer the Visaris Library increase uh, of funding uh, to the Finance Committee. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion passed. So this will be on our agenda then for this Thursday evening. We have a deadline that we're looking at for this is that uh, February the 7th is the last day that this can be uh, given to the Board of Elections. Our meeting is on the 6th. And so uh, this legislation, we're looking to get out of committee this Thursday. So if you have questions or you have anything that you want answered, please get those questions to us in advance and we can uh, talk about this. It's, it'll be, a meeting will be at six o'clock Thursday evening. There'll probably be two speakers ahead of you and uh, then we will get to you. But uh, it's Thursday evening at six o'clock in this room. Okay. Okay. All right. And who gets the signed resolution? Because the copies you have are not signed. You get it? Yeah. Okay. And we'll include it with the, the packets for the committee on Thursday. Okay. Just, we just want to get to Gary. Yeah. He'll pass it on up. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else to address council this evening? No one? Uh, moving on to communications and petitions. We have one communication dated January 15, 2018, addressed to the um, Sergeant City Council and the council president from uh, Mayor Jeff Reeser. Uh, regarding the reappointment of Dr. Uh, Mr. Denny Tyner uh, to the Planning Commission. Uh, dear Council President, Mr. Tyner's current term on the um, Planning Commission has expired as of December 31st, 2017. I've approached Mr. Tyner about serving another term on the Commission, and he has indicated a willingness to do so. We ask you to consider, we ask you to consider the approval of the reappointment of Mr. Tyner to serve another six-year term on the City Planning Commission. Thank you, Jeff, uh, Mayor Jeff Reeser, Chairman of the Planning Commission. Okay, this is all according to uh, uh, our, our codes that uh, it's the mayor's appointment, but we have to do an approval on that. So uh, uh, does anyone have any questions about this? About, I, do, I believe you all know Danny Tyner? No, I'll be, okay. So what we're looking for then is uh, a motion to approve this appointment to the uh, uh, planning commission. I'll make a motion. I'll second that. Motion by Mr. Fode, second by Mr. McKeever to approve the appointment of Mr. Denny Tyner to the Planning Commission. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passed. Mr. Tyner gets another six years of this. <laughs> and I and he's, he's been a good public servant. He served as, uh, as the uh, serve safety director for a while and he's uh, stayed involved with the city and we're very blessed to have people like him that are willing to step forward. Okay, uh, moving on to the standing committee reports. Mr. Fote, you get us started with this, if you uh, would, please. Yep. Besar City Council Joint Regular Committee meetings Thursday, January 4th, 2018. The meeting started at 6.03 p.m. and ended at 6.12 p.m. Members present were Mark McKeever, Kevin Myers, Dan Wireball, Monica Sack, myself, and Andrew Schock. The Cyrus City Council Joint Regular Meeting was called to order at 6.03 by myself. There was no public participation. Um, order of committee business was the Bucyrus Public Library appointments. Um, again, there was no public participation thereafter. And no, you stop, now you go to your minutes on the blue sheet. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Called to order at 6.03 p.m., Bucyrus Public Library appointments. Council received a letter from Brenda Kreider, director of the Bucyrus Public Library, advising that it has three board members whose terms expire December 31st, 2017. It noted that current board member Pete Maynard wishes to remain on the board and listed four candidates to fill the other two positions. Gerald Dolan, Donna Moore, Hannah Jacobs, and Carissa Fankhauser. Following a discussion on the candidates, involvement with the library, Wireball made a motion to appoint Dolan and Fankhauser to the Bucyrus Public Library Board. Vote recessed the Economic Development Committee meeting at 6.10 to address a personal matter. The committee was reconvened at 6.11. SAC seconded Wireball's motion. Motion passed by voice vote. Vote recessed the Economic Development Committee at 6.12 p.m. Does anyone have any questions or comments regarding the minutes? Okay. Keep going. Uh, Number four, public participation was none. Vote asked for motion to adjourn the joint regular committees. Motion by Wireball and second by SAC to adjourn at 6 12 p.m. Motion passed. Okay, thank you very much. Did a lot better the, that time. Pardon me? I said I did a lot better that time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we uh, actually have two things that we need to do right here, if we could. Uh, you heard of the uh, uh, their recommendation for those uh, to be appointed to the public. Uh, the Bucyrus Public Library Board, we need a motion to accept the recommendation of the committee. I make a motion to accept. Okay, Mr. McKeever, second. So moved. Mr. Myers, motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Myers to accept the uh, uh, appointment of, uh, i got to find the names here, Gerald Dolan and uh, Carissa Fankhauser to the, uh, and Pete Maynard to the uh, board of the library. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passed. Thank you very much. The other thing that we have to refer, uh, referral to the Economic Development Committee while we're doing this is um, Mr. Emerson, uh, Ken Emerson has served the city uh, for many, many years as a uh, council member and then once he got off council he continued to serve on the BZA. But uh, he, he's no longer going to feel that he wants to do that any longer so we need to find someone to take his place on the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, so uh, we need to refer this, uh, uh, we gotta find somebody to take this appointment and put this into economic development, which is where all of our committee assignments go, is into economic development. So I need uh, a motion to put the BCA referral of a new member into the Economic Development Committee. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Fote. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion passed. That's then in the uh, Economic Development Committee. Uh, traffic Commission. We don't have a report this evening from the Traffic Commission. Does anyone have any traffic questions for the uh, mayor? None? Okay. Moving on. I need a motion to accept the committee uh, minutes. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Myers to accept the committee minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion passed. Thank you. We have the report of city officers. Mayor Reeser. Thank you, Madam President. Just a very short report tonight, uh, and it concerns the weather, particularly snow. It's about two degrees outside, and I know we're all getting sick of it, but um, I, I think we got around maybe uh, Mr. Hill would know this exactly probably eight to ten inches of snow over the last couple of storms combined. Okay, thank you. Uh, and, and, and the second snow in particular was difficult because you know it started as rain and uh, slush and uh, it came at uh, it came out pretty hard. So our crew I think did a fantastic job. I got up Saturday morning and uh, <coughs> drove around town and it was it was really well done. I know there's some areas we have some new people that are learning some different spots. We have a couple glitches here and there, but uh, did an excellent job. Uh, also want to thank the downtown merchants. Uh, we're trying to work together now to get a, a nice plan, so we make the uh, sidewalks and the parking spaces uh, readily accessible. And I think you noticed uh, a major improvement. Still a few people I have to talk to, but um, one thing I think we do fall down in uh, is in our neighborhoods. Um, unfortunately, uh, I know when it's two degrees out, no one wants to go out and shovel snow. No. I know I don't either, but um, if we can, uh, we just need to do a little better job. If you keep your sidewalks clean for your neighbors, for the postman, 
Uh, we want to try to make our city as pedestrian friendly as possible. And um, especially in the north side where I live, you know, you have a lot of young people uh, going to school uh, in that quadrant, especially walking to the high school and middle school. And the sidewalks can be an adventure. And I see kids walking in the street, which I, I really don't like to see. So, uh, fellow North Enders, let's, uh, let's see if we can pick it up a little bit. If you have an elderly neighbor, they can't, uh, can't show them. Why don't you knock on their door and see if you can do it for them? They may even throw you five bucks, who knows? So anyway, in closing, uh, I want to thank the city workers for the fantastic job. And uh, better neighbors make a better view Cyrus, Madam President. Did you know that? I do now. Okay. Now, one more thing. Um, the view Cyrus Travel and Visitors Bureau uh, is looking for, we're putting a calendar together. And you all have a, a little sheet of paper here with a highlight. They're looking for testimonials from from members of the community and council members, elected officials. Uh, you may be included in the 2018 calendar of events. There's no preset format, but if you would uh, give Trish a call and phone number is 562-0720, uh, give a testimonial about your community, why people should come here and spend some time and some money. Uh, she would love to hear it, and you may become <coughs> famous. Thank you, Madam President. <laughs> Any questions for the mayor this evening? <laughs> I don't know whether that's famous or infamous. But we'll, we'll go with it. Okay. okay. No questions this evening? Okay, moving on, we have Mr. Wagner with us this evening, the Service Safety Director. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, just have some referrals. Number one, there are material bids to service and finance committee, uh, sewer groups one and two, and planning and finance. <coughs> East Mansfield and Whetstone Project, the Platting and Finance Committee. Mill and Page, the Platting and Finance. 2018 port, Airport Project, the Service and Finance. The Mill and Page, we're not have the numbers yet, so, but I just need to get it into it. Gas and electric aggregation. The electric aggregation price is 0.05787 cents per kilowatt. And the gas aggregation price is 0.468 per cubic foot. Um, the electric is good till May of 2020. The gas price is good to 2000 of December of 18. And then the rate will go to 0.436 per cubic foot until December of 2020. Now, if you remember, the gas is on a, I'm gonna say this right, fixed variable. It can never climb the original contract price we signed with them like three or four years ago. So as the market stays down, it will go down a little bit at a time, but it will never go above, and, and I didn't bring that number with me, but it's slowly on the decline, but we signed an extension to go down to 436 in December. Um, so please check your bill, watch the phone calls you get for people trying to get you to change over the phone, because typically those people are gonna have a termination fee. They're uh, bill or length of time might be three months, six months, or a year. And then after that, you're going to be on the open market price. And, and you can probably go out and shop some. But just, just be careful. If you've got any questions, call up to the office and we can direct you to the right person to talk to. Um, as most of you are aware, it's cold weather. Cold weather. We've had seven water line breaks so far this year already. And we're not just halfway through January. so. Hopefully, we hold on there, but understand as we have a break, it does send out a boil advisory until it's fixed, and then 24 hours later, we can have a lot of tested, and typically it's okay. So, uh, but hopefully that slows down, because some guys are tired. And Jeff already mentioned about the snow plowing. Uh, we do have some new people that are in plowing now, so if you have somewhere that typically we've done in a certain way and uh, we didn't quite get it correct, please call in and we'll send them back out and we'll get it fixed. Um, good note is we're thinking about summer already. We are accepting applications for our seasonal summer help at Alamo Park, including the pool for lifeguards. So if you know anyone, please send them up. I'd like to have people in place uh, so we're not playing catch up, it seems like 
It's what we've been doing the last couple of years. Um, and lastly, should have urine, urine reports by the department heads by the end of February. Okay. Thank you. Question. Yes, Mr. Tricka. Madam President, uh, I have a question. Uh, in these water line breaks, are they predominantly in old sections of the of the older water lines? And, yeah. And then uh, a follow-up, is there anything in the foreseeable future that we will see that we will start to replace some of these trouble areas that we got right now? Yeah, as we do our OPWC projects that we do every year when we split it with OPWC, we try to target, the, target those areas first. So I, I think we had a, a leak down on Woodlawn, which that's on our list for this year to get fixed. So we try to take those areas first, but uh, it's, it's just the luck of the draw, I think, sometimes. But we do try to look at where we've had past leaks. So. All right, thanks. Mr. Fowler? Madam President, um, I just wanted to ask Mr. Wagner, um, I, as far as the water line breaks again, um, you guys are actually doing things to try and combat that from happening in the future, didn't I thought I'd heard one time that uh, we're monitoring uh, the flow basically and then having certain individuals maybe leave their water trickle to keep from a water main break? Uh, we've never, we, we have a few places in town that we know certain residents have a problem with their water line freezing. So we do send them reminders to let that water drip so we constantly got a flow. Um, but as far as any of the other areas, um, you know, we, we don't, we don't do anything special other than send them out notices. But. Okay. Anyone else for the service director? Okay, we have a bunch of referrals here uh, this evening. And uh, just a reminder as we go through these, the uh, first one is the material bids goes to service committee and finance committee. I need a motion for that. So, so moved. Second. Who was the first? I, Mr. Weyerbaugh and Mr. McKeever? Yes. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passed. S second items are sewer groups one and two to planning and finance committee. This is part of our um, EPA project, correct? Correct. It's uh, Cullen Court, <coughs> Cullen Avenue, Hopley, Robin Hood, Sherwood, and coming up East Southern and that first block to Hopley. Okay. Uh, so I need a motion to put uh, those two into planning and finance. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Fote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passed. The, uh, there will be someone at uh, committee meetings this Thursday evening in to discuss this. Mr. Brandstetter and Laura will be here, right, from Arcadis? Correct. So they will be uh, our first two speakers this Thursday to discuss what these projects are going to entail. So you'll not only be hearing money, but you'll also be hearing exactly what's going to be covered in the projects. Uh, then we have uh, East Mansfield and Whetstone Street goes to Platting and Finance Committee. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Who's the first? Myers and Sack? Yeah. Motion by Ms. Mr. Myers, second by Ms. Sack to put the East Mansfield Street slash Whetstone to Platting and Finance Committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passed. Uh, the Mill and Pave to Platting and Finance Committee. As the service director said, this is uh, not for this Thursday, but it will be upcoming. And we would do want to remind everyone out there, if you have streets and things that you think need attention, now is the time to call up to City Hall and uh, explain where you are and what area you're seeing is need, needs attention. There are only so many that we can do, but we, we do our best to see that we get the areas that are in most need. So I need a motion for the Mellon Paid Project. I'll make a motion. Mr. Fote, second? Second. Motion by Mr. Fote, second by Mr. McKeever to put the Mellon Paved to Platting and Finance Committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passes, thank you. And finally, we have the 2018 Airport Project to Service and Finance Committees. I need a motion for this. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Truca to put the 2018 Airport Project to Service and Finance Committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. 
Motion passed. We will also have speakers this Thursday evening, uh, Kevin Detre from the airport and a representative from the CMT. CMT, which is the one that handles our grant work for that, for the airport, for the- As far as I know, there'll be someone there from the CMT. Okay. The last I knew. Okay, they will also be here this Thursday, so uh, to explain what that project's going to entail. Uh, did I have anything else here? I think that takes care of all of them. Okay, moving on then. Law Director, Mr. Ratliff. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I don't really have any written report. It's new in the year. Uh, hopefully by the next meeting, we'll be able to tell you who our new victim's advocate is. The, um, I don't really have any report. The one thing that is already in committee, um, uh, the tower lease contract has been in committee for quite a while now. Uh, that's coming up at, in the end of April. So if we're going to renew that or whatever we're going to do, we need to get it out to bid soon so that it can be done. So that's already in committee. So Which committee is that? Is it public lands and buildings? Pardon me? Public lands and buildings. Public lands and buildings, okay. We'll make sure that makes it on the agenda for Thursday evening then. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, any questions or comments for the law director? None? Okay, moving on. Uh, auditor, Mrs. Schiffer. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I do not have a report this evening, but I do have several referrals. Uh, we need an appropriation in uh, the general fund, security of persons and property, police department, materials and supplies, in the amount of $1,450. This is the carryover balance of donations that were made last year for Operation Hope that was not included in the 2018 budget. Then we need an appropriation in the uh, Police Continuing Professional Education Fund. That's for the police department, materials, and supplies in the amount of $7,600. These funds were received on January the 2nd. It's a reimbursement of the, the education costs the police department incurred last year um, from the Ohio Attorney General's office. So it, it kind of gets recycled. We spend it, they reimburse us, and then we get to spend it again. Okay. Then I would also like to refer the uh, annual enterprise fund reimbursements to the general fund for calendar year 2017. Okay. Any questions or comments for Mrs. Schiffer? Madam President? Yes. I have a presentation I'd like to make. Can we do our refer or do our when you when you when you allow me to do it. So. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> While we're discussing this, we do this, okay? So we have a couple referrals to the Finance Committee for the uh, $1,450 for the carryover balance from Operation Hope and also the $7,600 the, for the reimbursement we received from the Attorney General. This needs to go to the Finance Committee. Do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Fout. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passed, thank you. And then I also need a referral to a finance committee for the enterprise fund reimbursements to the general fund. So moved. Mr. Wireball, second please. Second. Mr. Schock, was that? Yes. Um, motion by Mr. Wireball, second by Mr. Schock to refer the annual enterprise fund reimbursements uh, to the general fund. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion passed. Now. Okay, Please take okay. center stage okay. down here, okay? Okay. May I think I have, the, the auditor may, needs to get out. I have Auditor Schiffer. Please come to center stage, too. I better this one here. We received in the mail a, uh, a prestigious award today from the Government Finance Officers Association. This is a certificate of achievement in, for excellence in financial reporting. And uh, Presented to the city of Cyrus, but it's really you're doing the got this for us. You know, we, we certainly appreciate your your confidence in this job and all that you've done for. So, how many years have you been on here now? Eighteen. Eighteen years. And have you received this award before? Yes. Okay. Well, keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So there it is. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> It's nice when somebody from the state says good job, isn't it? Yes. We appreciate that. 
We also have the auditor statement of cash position dated December the 31st, 2018. I need a motion to accept and file that. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Fote, second by Mr. McKeever to accept the auditor statement of cash position dated December the 31st, 2018. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion passed. Before you, you also have the treasurer's report for December of 2017. That's for you to take home with you and review, and we'll uh, approve it at the next council meeting. Moving on. Uh, chief is not with us, neither is the fire chief. I need a motion to accept the city officer's reports. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Fode, second by Mr. Truca to accept the city officer's reports. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passed. Thank you. This is time where we have visitors input regarding reports of the standing or special committees and of city officers. Does anyone wish to address council this evening? No one? We have no legislation this evening. That doesn't happen very often. Twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the next thing on our is under old business. You have the, your list of your committee assignments that you approved last time, and it specifies on here who the chairman is. Uh, each one of you chairman has to pick someone else on your committee to be the one that will take over if you're not here. So uh, you need to talk to whoever that is that you're looking to put a second in charge and just notify Todd who it is so that we can keep track of this. So if we know you're not going to be here, we make sure that they have all the information for the meeting that evening. So uh, that's homework. Okay. <laughs> Any other old business this evening? None? Moving on to new business. Uh, we already talked before the meeting about the flower fund donation, council members and the administration. Uh, we keep a little fund where if anything happens to anybody that, uh, or family members and things, so we can send flowers and that kind of thing. That's all this is. Uh, Wednesday, January the 17th is City Hall Free Clothing Drive ends at 3 p.m. Uh, there are quite a few coats and uh, sweatshirts and shoes and anything, hats and gloves are downstairs. They're all warm. I, I noticed several people in and out today that were taking advantage of that because, you know, just because it's going to get warmer again, and it did that before, and then it's going to get colder again, I'm pretty sure. So if you're in need of any of that, it's in, in there in City Hall. You don't have to go into any office. You don't have to talk to anybody. It's just all laying out there. It's for you to, to take a look at, and if, if you have a need for it, it is yours to take. We want everybody to be safe. Uh, Monday, February the 19th is President's Day. Uh, city offices are open on President's Day. Thursday, February the 22nd, 2018 is the uh, Chamber of Commerce 2018 Business and Industry Forecast Breakfast from 8 to 10 a.m. That's always interesting hearing from uh, the, uh, some of the major and not so major employers in the city about what's happening with their businesses. Uh, it's always interesting uh, to be there. We're all here to see. Anybody else have any new business? None? Okay. Uh, we don't need to excuse anyone. We're all here. Uh, the joint regular committee, committee meeting is this Thursday starting at 6 p.m. All referrals from this council uh, meeting and any open project list items may be discussed during the committee meetings. The referrals from this evening are... We have uh, nine referrals. Uh, we have the two appropriations from the auditor. That goes to the finance committee. We have the... Enterprise Fund Reimbursements, that's from the Auditor to the Finance Committee. We have the Library Tax Levy Proposal, that's uh, from Council to the Finance Committee. Uh, already in committee is the uh, proposal for the towers, uh, the vertical real estate contract. Uh, that is in Public Lands and Buildings, that will be on the agenda for uh, Thursday. From the Administration, we have Material Bids, that goes to Service and Finance. From the Administration, we have the Mill and Pave, that it goes to Planning and Finance, that will not be on the agenda for this Thursday. Uh, we have from the administration the uh, presentation on sewer groups one and two, uh, that is planning and finance. We have from the administration uh, the 2018 airport project to service and finance, so that will be a presentation on that. The um, administration also uh, referred the Whetstone and East Mansfield uh, drain um, work that goes to planning and finance. And finally, the uh, BZA, the Board of Zoning Appeals Appointment, uh, that is from Council to Economic Development. That's what we have. Okay, thank you. 
The next WBCO radio programs are on February. Police Chief Dave Kepke will be there. And in early March, uh, Rob Ratliff and Gordon Grove will be there. Law Director? Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Madam President. At this point in time, I would like to request an executive session of the City Council to prepare, to prepare for, conduct, or review collective bargaining strategy pursuant to Ohio Revised Code 121.22G4. Do I hear a motion? So moved. I move at this time that the City Council adjourns into executive session with all available elected officers of the Sarah City Administration and the service safety director if available to prepare for, conduct, or review collective bargaining strategy ORC section 121.22G4. Okay, I have a motion at this time that the city council adjourns into executive session with all available elected officers of the Bissara City Administration and the service safety director if available to prepare for, to prefer, to prepare for conduct, or review collective bargaining strategy for ORC Section 121.22 G4. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Fogg? Roll call vote, please. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Meyerball? Yes. Truca? Yes. Sack? Yes. Vote? Yes. Shock? Yes. Okay, motion carried. Uh, we are uh, recessed into executive session at 7.36 p.m. Okay, if you would excuse us, please. Okay, got it. Executive session. So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Fode, second by Mr. McKeever to adjourn the executive session. Roll call vote, please. McKeever. Yes. Myers. Yes. Wireball. Yes. Truca. Yes. Sack. Yes. Fode. Yes. Shock. Yes. Okay, motion carried. We adjourn the executive session at 7.59 p.m. There is no report. All we need now is a motion to adjourn the council meeting. So moved. Second. second. <laughs> <laughs> a motion by Mr. McKeever and second by Mr. Mr. Myers. Everybody. By everyone. Everybody. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. We are adjourned at 8 o'clock. New record for the year. Perfect time, right on the dot.